Hey folks, welcome back to another ESEA training video. Today we're going to talk about Title III Consortium. Consortiums allow for LEAs that on their own do not generate a Title III award in order to gain access to funding and support for multilingual learners or MLs in their schools. Under ESEA statute, Section 3201-3B, LEAs are authorized to form a consortium in order to meet the required minimum allocation of $10,000 and become eligible for Title III funding. A consortium works similar to a co-op where one LEA assumes the role of fiscal agent for the Title III funds only. The fiscal agent is then responsible for providing the required activities under Title III for members of the consortium. Those activities include professional development, improving instruction, and family and community engagement practices. Also, in order to form a consortium, LEAs who are interested need to appoint one LEA to be the fiscal representative and then complete the consortium intent to apply form located on our website. The LEA fiscal agent then enters into a contract with the other members of the consortium to provide service for all member LEAs. The fiscal agent will also be responsible for the distribution of funds indirectly to members of the consortium to carry out required activities to support their MLs. Consortiums also can pool their funds in order to provide um, more widespread services and as opposed to need um, members of the consortium wanting to do different things. Um, so again, planning and communication between consortium members is very important. And as always, if anyone has any questions, feel free to reach out to your regional program managers or reach out to myself directly, Daniel Weeks at 207-624-6766 or daniel.r.weeks at maine.gov. We're happy to answer any questions you may have, and we hope this has been a uh, very helpful and informative video, and have a great day, and we'll see you next time.